so it was a time in which we were going away from the brown of, of colonialism and, and independence to a time of seeing ourselves as an African diaspora nation. So Browning comes out of that particular category. So when young black, and I say black, mixed race women in Britain call them, decide to say that they're Browning and put themselves within, the, within that category, they're putting themselves within a very black category of, of beauty itself. They are claiming the space of blackness as a way of inserting themselves into one of the alternative beauty categories that exist within the Black Atlantic diaspora. As we know, within the diaspora, if you look at this room anyway, within the diaspora, there are many different ways of being beautiful. Browning is one of them. Beauty, as we see, is something I really think you're not born with, you work at it. But beauty, of course, has discourses around it as well. Discourses like negritude, discourses like Afro-Brazilian aesthetics, discourses like Browning, for example, discourses like Black is Beautiful. So as well as practices that we do on and with our bodies, we also have to generate discourses that validate our own particular forms of beauty, our own blacknesses in different ways. And we've done that across the Black Atlantic diaspora. And these young women in 2005, which is when I, I did this research, between 2005 and 2007, who are not alive really in a way, um, at the beginning of the 80s in the United Kingdom or indeed in the, in the 70s still repeat ideas that come out of Black is Beautiful, that come out of Rastafarianism, that come out of Negritude. For example, the idea that to be beautiful and Black is to be natural. Except they do their naturalness differently. For example, they make their skin darker using fake tan. So I think that the, the point, I think, is that what, what these young women and what we ourselves have been struggling with for numbers of years is how to get out of essentialized notions which say that a black woman must look like this and a black woman must do this and a black woman must think like that in order to be black. I think that that's quite a negative kind of politics and, and very much a straight jacket for us to go down. We must allow ourselves to be different and allow ourselves to still have dignity within that as well.